We're at the 2008 Town Hall Debate at Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee. Sir, ma'am, can you state your name? Janet. Janet and Tim. And you're both from Nashville? Yes. yes. And I notice you're carrying Obama signs, wearing Obama t-shirts and pens and stickers. Yes. Can you give me an idea of we why you're... For? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really, huh? Obama. 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 Can you tell me why you're supporting him? Because what I, is it about him? I like where he stands on the issues. He's a he's a really intelligent man, and we need somebody intelligent in the White House. We need change. Could you tell me? Eight years of terror, and we need a change. I'm just curious, and then please don't be offended by the question, but can yeah. you give me an example of what you mean when you say you like where he stands on the issues? Um, I like that he's going to end the Iraq War and bring the troops home. I like. Um, that he's going to provide universal health insurance for everybody. Right. I like the fact that he's going to lower in lower taxes on the middle class while raising them on the upper class. Well, you're, you're oh, making no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not. Anybody over two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, I'm over two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and I, that's. I, I was just listening to that because I'm somewhat confused about people's position on his tax plan because technically 95% of the U.S. doesn't pay income taxes anyway. You get it back. Whatever's taken out of your paycheck, well, you no, get I back. Mean, that's not, not me. Yeah. I, no, I didn't yeah. say that. We don't make $250,000. Yeah, so. yeah and I, and I imagine there's a lot of people that don't pay the fair share. Mm -hmm. If I made over $250,000, I'd be glad to pay more taxes. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question. Um, you're avid Obama supporters. Uh, have you ever heard of the Larry Sinclair Barack Obama story? Larry no. Sinclair. No. Uh, no, I haven't heard that one. Uh, you've already decided who you're going to support, yeah. I, I take it. So would you at least be willing to do some research and look into something to see to find well, information? Well, you tell me who Larry Sinclair is. Well, actually, if you give me a second here. I'm trying to struggle with two hands. and right, and right. I, I know who the key five is. Yeah, we know who the key five is. Exactly. Everybody, yeah. everybody knows. Oh, yeah. Here's oh, a my God. no 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 no, no. That's no. ma'am no, no. ma'am that's bullshit I'm sorry that's it's bull see that's the problem you guys are supporting Obama but you won't even look you see the video held in my hand yeah it's straight from the National Press Club on June 18th of this year right if you're not willing to ask the question and look into it you're just automatically saying it's BS what would you tell me if it turns out to be true and you voted for somebody who's not going to actually take the White House on June 20th. I'm asking, just who's give me your opinion. Who's it? not going to mm -hmm. take it? What you just threw down there is three I pages. I, 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 I know, no, no, I understand. I would have picked it up. What I'm trying to explain is there's three different pages there, okay? The first one is an allegation that's been made and supported. Two sexual encounters. Ma'am? Now flip the page. Well, well, how many do you think McCain? How many sexual encounters has he had? Exactly, sir. Okay. Look. Okay, hang on. This is not These a. These are not the issues. The issues exactly. are what's going on. The issue on the economy, is honest. Okay. What's going on with health? Hang on, hang on, because I'm not getting. What's going on with? Yeah, this, this, this has cool. nothing to do with the issue. So the this character is mud. Okay, sir. That's all it is. It has nothing to are do you with aware the issues. That, are you aware that Barack Obama filed a motion for protective order in a federal court in Pennsylvania yesterday? Good for him. No. Do you know why he filed the protective order? Why? No, but you know, I don't, who are you? I'm Lawrence Sinclair with with uh, Collegiate Newswire Service, ma'am. I've got the so credentials in the box. Larry, Larry yes, Larry it yeah. yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. Well, you know, good luck, Larry. I, you're talking about things that have nothing to do with exactly. the reasons and, that I'm and, and that's why and I'm asking you. Same with, thing with, with, with uh, <laughs> with McCain. With McCain. With McCain. <laughs> That's all right. You know, I, I wish he became president eight years ago. Uh -huh. I don't think we'd be where we are now. Okay. And I really hate that, that we are where we are, but there's no way I'm going to vote for... Th I'm voting on the issues. My Not question... About, about who slept with who, who did drugs in their mm -hmm. past, who did, you know... Would would your can't my question is and, and trust me I'm not here to support McCain I'm not here to support Obama what I'm asking is I'm asking people to explain to me what is the standard of judgment and character everybody's talking about judgment and character I was at an Obama rally last Thursday in Grand Rapids Michigan well, you know, the, the, and everybody says the man his integrity his judgment and his Did you character hear either one of us no, that? no 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 yeah. and that's what i'm saying that's why i'm actually what recording and I, I will what we're doing is we want we're voting on the issues you know everybody has something in their closet i guarantee right. you there's there's not anybody that doesn't but 
who slept with who, that's their personal business. Mm-hmm. I wish we were more like Europe where we didn't get in people's <laughs> bedrooms and, and, and go after their past. Let me Let's go with what they what they stand for now, the issues that are important to them. Mm-hmm. Barack Obama has stood for people and tried to take care of people. Okay, and that's your and that's comment. One of the, that's where, one of the qualities that I, I like I, of him. I guess my question is when people tell me he stood for people, I'm just trying to get a feel for it because I haven't seen it. Um, I've looked over his entire Senate record in Illinois. Okay. Yeah. I've looked over his entire community organizing record. Okay. All and right. What, what was his? It, well, so what and, did he do as a community one, organizer? Well, no, well, no. Was he not trying to help people? Well, actually, if you go to his community organizing uh, three years, it was actually all with Resco and, and that company. So that's what I'm asking. Are you recording this? I'm yeah. see. I really, okay. I, I, I really, no, I really sure. am. I really am. I mean, I'll give you all the time. Trust me. I, I, okay, we yeah. gotta go. We gotta go pick up. But I appreciate but, your honest yeah. opinions, and I appreciate yours. But like I said, just be a little open to looking. Open. Okay. We are very open. Like <laughs> right. I said, I wish McCain had gotten to be president eight right. years ago. I don't think we'd be where we are now. I tend to. You know what? I actually agree with you on that yeah. one. I really do. Okay. Thanks, guys. Given the time that both presidential candidates and the drive-by media spends discussing health care, this item ought to be front-page news. Seven months after proudly introducing universal child health care, Hawaii is dropping the coverage. Hawaii, the first state in the union to implement a universal plan boasted that every child from birth to 18 years old would have health coverage. So what happened? Well, it's simple, really. It cost too much. It's only seven months old, yet the best laid plans of liberals ran up such huge budget shortfalls that the state could not afford to keep it running. It turns out thousands of parents dropped their kids from their own private health plans in order to cash in on a government freebie. Now, this turn of events has got to be a shock to the kind-hearted, well-intentioned liberals who designed this whole fiasco. I mean, who could have predicted that parents, totally capable of paying for their kids' health care, would jump on board a government plan that forced their neighbors to pick up the cost. Why, it's it's scandalous. Even more outrageous, now the state's going to stop this thing from bankrupting the state. How dare they? This little experiment in Hawaii should set off the warning flares, folks, and stop all the talk of universal health care dead in its tracks. Well, no, 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 it won't happen. The liberal march towards socialism will go on unimpeded. To liberals, massive failure is never a good reason to stop. You just keep going until you destroy everything. 